ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेयर द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ एनी सिग्नल विद इन द मल्टी सिम फॉर इट मल्टी सिम हैज ऑफर्ड अस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द फ्रीक्वेंसी काउंटर सो यू कैन ड्रैग इट आउट एंड नाउ वी विल गो फॉर आवर सिग्नल्स okay now we have our ac power signal so we can take our ac signal and we will just connect our positive end of our ac signal with the frequency mirror or frequency counter and also you need to attach the lower end of the ac supply with the ground Okay now like get okay so okay now we will run it we will see that it gives us the 60 hertz which is uh, purely uh, okay and right okay so okay so this is for ac signal now what uh, for certain other like digital signal so we can go for it as well okay now we will go for digital sources and digital clock okay it also used to produce some clock signal and usually clock signal is in the form of square wave okay now we will go and we will change it to 500 hertz okay not the 1000 or 1 kilohertz so okay wait uh, it is saying that uh, there isn't any sort of ground within our circuit but we cannot place ground okay because there isn't any sort of uh like a pin where we can attach the ground so we can go for another source so digital constant and uh, it's okay no problem wait current control signal current sources so it is chip current okay dc current pulse current okay okay so this is also a sort of signal so we need to connect it and also we will go for its frequency uh, either it is showing any sort of pulse value or delay time pulse width uh, free distortion frequency one magnitude okay is yes, they don't okay okay wait uh, we we have to go for another source and that is uh what's called as the clock current or by chip current or ac current signal voltage sources okay so amp voltage so can we go it for amplitude modulation okay now we need to connect it like that and we will connect our ground on the lower side so we can see that so 1 kilohertz and 100 hertz okay so there are two frequencies maybe either okay so it is saying that we have 983 and uh, 500 why, why it is so why it is displaying multiple because there are two signals in this am source so one is the carrier and one is the what's called is the uh, modulated signal sorry one is the carrier and one is the information signal so that is why it is saying something like that so carrier is 1k and it is 100 hertz okay okay now can we decrease it down to like 500 okay now we will see what will happen okay now when we will measure it it is saying 226 227.511 178 uh, and why it is so why it is behaving like it because our signal is amplitude modulated okay the carrier the carrier signal and the 
massive signal they both are combined okay and they are not uh, we cannot separate them out okay so that is why we got these values okay so can we like uh, okay can we say zero hertz okay now hopefully we will get uh, like 500 hertz why it is so because there isn't any sort of message signal in it message frequency so it is pure 500 hertz so hopefully you got a bit of concept regarding the frequency measurement in multisim so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel